to put my people, our people in a position to where we can get financial freedom. And I'm trying to prove to people that it don't take a lot of money. Always got a couple rules. One, do your research into the company. Two, buy low. Three, sell high. I got the kid in investing. I had my first kid at 18. Started a mutual fund for him. And then once I did that, I always had that, that in the back of my head or something I wanted to get into, Starbucks. Jumia, Tesla, Disney, Nike, Fuel Cell, Buzz Power. I just got into it and just wanted to just share my experience with the people. Well, hey. How's it going? It's your boy, brother DJ. Just one of the uh, working mini parts of Squadcast TV. Hope y'all having a good day out there today. Shout out to all the uh, subscribers. Hey, everybody, hit the like button, comment, all that other good stuff. Appreciate you guys. Shout out to you, all the Squadcast TV members that's not with me right now. Y'all know who y'all are. Appreciate all you guys. Same thing with the Junkyard Gang TV. And uh, shout out to West Matthew. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate that, brother. You know what I'm saying? He's doing big things. Make sure y'all tap in with him. But, uh, we know what we're here for. We about to talk about this money. We about to talk about the stocks. Let's get into it. Um, you know, same Robinhood account that I've been sharing with you guys from Jump Street. You know, I'm just going to run through what I have. And then we're going to talk about what I acquired. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, with that being said, uh, we have uh, Bi Biora Therapeutics. Cisco, Ford, Twitter, Fuel Cell, Morgan Stanley, Starbucks, Tesla, Apple, Nike, Microsoft, Oracle, CrowdStrike Holdings, Coinbase, which is, we'll get into that, uh, Coke, a cola, <laughs> not that other stuff, uh, Vanguard SP500, ETF, and then I'll save the other two for what I acquired, all right? Um, but those are the ones that I have right now. Um, if you guys haven't been noticing, we actually been having a good, solid week this week with a, you know, good week last week as well. Um, the market today, you know, for me, I'm just down just a, not even just a, a percent, if anything, uh, but... Uh, a week ago today, I'm up 3%. A month ago today, I'm up 15%. Three months ago today, I was up 10%. Year today, down 14%. So uh, even though I've had this particular portfolio has had great months, a couple great weeks, and all that other good stuff. Year to date, though, we're still down 14%, which, you know, it's a, it's a, it, it could be a lot of us that are down like that. It could be people down more than that. I mean, you just never know how much people are really invested in what stocks they have. I mean, people have been impacted by a lot of stuff that's been going on. The market has been super volatile these, you know, over the last year, maybe year, year and a half, you know what I'm saying? With uh, like I keep saying, inflation, the the, the war in Ukraine, um, government having issues, and you know it, it's just a lot of things going on that can really hurt a person's portfolio, dependent on what type of stocks that you have. All right, but we have to be thankful, we have to be grateful for the good times that we're having right now because it definitely could be worse. Okay, um, with that being said, uh, shout out to Tesla. Tesla's doing, you know doing big things even though today it was down uh just a little over two and a half percent uh overall you know it is it, is getting up there it's you know currently right now 863 dollars per share uh i this particular for uh stock i'm still up 63 percent because i have an average cost per share of 527 dollars so with it being 863 you can do the math. That's why I'm up 63%. And I wish I could have gotten to Tesla a lot earlier. 
that's a mistake on my end and and don't feel that way i know a lot of people have made mistakes and then you get the running and chasing and trying to get into it and then it doesn't perform like you wanted to and now you stuck with the bad end and now you're looking at selling you know what i'm saying so don't go chasing all right if a play is not there now eventually it will be there you know what i'm saying uh if 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 you guys were really studying up reading up and and on the investing game like i'll talk about all the time then you guys would have acquired some stock some shares while wall street was bleeding bleeding i mean we was in the red forever and when i mean you know what i'm talking about on the on the chart the red yeah we was in the red forever so that those are like the perfect opportunities to get into certain plays that you want that you thought was not obtainable at a certain point you know what i'm saying like uh tesla was oh my god what was the 52 week low on tesla 620 dollars all right you you could have bought in at at that point and then it's 863 so you're you're up you know uh not even and you didn't even have to really you don't even have to really even get a whole share you could have got a fractional percent of tesla because i know everybody's money is not the same and that's kind of why i do this because i'm really catering this to those who have budgets and don't think that you can really be successful in the stock market because you don't have thousands upon thousands to invest and i'm basically showing you guys that you can really do this and not have that because i i told you guys i've nickel and dime this thing to the point where i've accumulated multiple shares of certain stocks you know what i'm saying so um shout out tesla for doing this thing i really appreciate you bouncing back um another one another giant right now apple uh, apple's been bouncing back their current stock price right now is 168.49 um they were down just a little bit today but overall uh this particular play i'm up 34 percent you know uh i got a dividend pending on uh actually i got a dividend pending today you know it's, it's nice to be able to be able to invest in a company that you know is going to be around uh you know is going to bounce back and collect the dividend from them uh you know they don't have a huge uh dividend yield it's a small one but you know it's it's money coming back to me and you know uh for those who actually got a lot of stocks with dividends i don't know what you guys do but i just reinvested reinvested you know that's that's essentially how you could really get a, a lot of shares of stock sometimes without using your own money it depending on how many stocks that you have where you're collecting dividends on because there's a lot of stocks out there where you can actually buy that are fairly cheap and have a high dividend yield like i know at&t uh, that's one of them uh, who else i got a couple in my my watch list at&t's dividend yield eight percent eight point eight percent you know what i'm saying uh main street capital dividend yield 5.6 percent you know uh verizon dividend yield 5.7 percent so it's and, and and just to give you a clue verizon stock price right now is 44.78 uh at&t stock price right now is 1806 uh main street capital stock price right now is 43.04 so these are stock prices where they're affordable obtainable for most people and then depending on how many shares you get determines how big of a dividend that you're going to get you know and, and especially at those dividend yields all right so make sure that you know if that's what you want to do you know the, the, you know as far as looking at stocks with dividends those are a couple to go ahead and get into but um we talked about tesla we talked about apple and now we're going to get into the stocks that the old boy acquired uh got into google alphabet class a uh current stock price right now is 115 uh 119.14 when i talked to you guys last time about uh google i believe the stock price was like 115 I, when it when they did the div the 20 to 1 dividend uh not the dividend the 20 to 1 stock split 
I believe that the uh, stock price was starting out at $110 and then it went up to $115 and then it was as high as $120 but it you know it dropped to $119 and some change all right so this is one where the stock is affordable great company and you know that Google is going to continue to thrive they're they, they have too much competition not to you know with apple microsoft and, and everything else so uh definitely got into some google a and google c got got both all right and last but not least dun, 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 we got amazon i had to go ahead and take a splash in amazon uh, amazon's current stock price right now is 140.88 um, they're down right now, just uh, uh right now like one point uh four percent. Nothing major, nothing to be all panicky about or anything like that. But you know, they had a fifty-two week low of one hundred and one twenty-six, fifty-two week high of one eighty-eight eleven, with it being at one forty eighty-eight. Um, I would if if you're looking to get into Amazon, I would kind of wait to see if it drops a little bit more. Uh, with it being at one forty eighty-eight, that's kind of still high, but if it drops to maybe like 135, 130, you know what I'm saying? Something like that. Maybe even in the 125s, definitely load up. Shout out Jeff Bezos. Definitely load up for real, for real. Um, this is another great play. You know, Amazon is like the king right now um, with everything that they provide. All the, the Amazon Prime, the, the, the great service, the the plethora of products that you can get that you know for as far as retail and, and books and things of that nature i mean amazon is a giant i mean they're literally a giant and they've kind of been you know putting a lot of people out of business if you haven't been paying attention you know so uh definitely get you some amazon it's definitely worth looking into all right um with that being said the next time i'm gonna get on here i'm gonna get into crypto i know i keep saying and i keep i keep but it be the stocks, man. It keeps calling me. It calling me. It keep calling me. Yeah, I'm really gonna get into crypto because a lot of stuff has been going on, and we definitely gotta get into that. And then I also might have a guest on there as well. So, um, I appreciate you guys, like always, man. If you if you don't take anything from this, take away this. All right. When you're getting into the stock market, you want to definitely look up, research the companies you want to get into. Um, you want to look at the market cap see how much that is um if you're getting dividends you want dividends look at the dividend yield or if they even offer a dividend and then you know look at the price look at the trends look at the charts look how much has gone up look at the 52 week low look at the 52 week high look at your budget is this a good buying point to get in you know these are things that you have to ask yourself these are things that you have to train yourself to do when you're getting into the stock market because we all know we all see how volatile the market is you have people doing sell-offs some people going down with the ship you know so it it just depends on what type of investor you want to be so uh with that being said man like i said i appreciate everybody that's rocking with the kid love y'all subscribe hit the like button peace